Hey guys, it's Dan, and it is time for another graphic novel trade paperback comic book review. Uh, this time from Dark Horse Comics is another from the Black Hammer series written by Jeff Lemire, Dr. Star. Now, I have to admit that this is one of my favorites from the Black Hammer series. Um, I still don't know if Jeff Lemire is parodying, like, some of the greatest, like, comic book characters from Marvel and DC, or if this is supposed to be, like, a tribute. I really don't know. But Dr. Star is so much like Starman from the DC Universe, while also kind of tributing the Green Lantern Corps. Now, we have this guy, um, Dr. Star, who is, like, he's trying to, you know, he's got this great idea, he's trying to reach the, the Paraverse, or whatever it's called, and he ends up, you know, getting, the, the, he invents this kind of, like, this staff that's so similar to Starman, and he becomes Dr. Star, and... and of course, you know, unlike the other superhero books from, like, Marvel and DC, we don't really see the tragedy that befalls this guy's family and his own life because while he seeks to be this superhero and to travel the stars and search the unknown, he's kind of missing out on his family's life and... Next thing you know, he goes to he travels to this one planet that's so close to a black hole. Um, he doesn't realize that time has slowed there. And by the time he gets back to Earth, 18 years has passed, and he's totally missed out on his kid growing up, and his wife didn't know where he was. And so yeah, we see all this tragedy befall this guy, and like you know, one thing leads to another. So this does jump around in time a lot. To different time periods, but I really, I thought the artwork for this was spot on. Really great artwork. Um, like I said, the really great writing that just befalls this, this hero. Like his, his own legacy of his child is dying from cancer, but yet he has this other legacy from being a superhero with the, the Star Corps or whatever they're called and, I, because this takes place, it starts out in the 1940s and then just kind of jumps to the present day through different time periods. But I really, really think this is worthwhile picking up, guys. If you are a fan of the Black Hammer series, I really think you should be checking this one out. I'm assuming that this is a one-shot. I mean, the way it ended, it kind of ended really sad, really tragic ending, um, Really sad, guys. Really sad ending. Um, if you have not read this and you're looking for something that's kind of a tearjerker, like the opposite, like you, it always focuses on how how it's so great to be a superhero, but this one kind of focuses on, you know, all the reasons why you it wouldn't be good to be a superhero and have a family because you'd miss out on your family's life and. Yes, tragedy befalls the mighty hero, Dr. Star, and I just, it was really sad. It was so hard not to cry at the end of this because it was so sad, the, the ending of this. And I don't want to spoil it because it was one of the things that made the story so great were those tragedies and the way he tries to resolve them. And this, the lengths and depths, once he realizes what he's lost out on and how he tries to, you know, make up for all that stuff really made this a really great story. Um, I decided to rate this 4 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Like I said, guys, if you are a fan of Black Hammer, definitely check this out. Um, I'm not really 100%, like really into Starman, but this was so much better than Starman. Jeff Lemire just has this way of writing these characters, and it's almost like a reimagining almost, but yeah, I think he did a really good job with this one. I've only got a few more of these books to check out in this Black Hammer series, but 
Yeah, I was mighty impressed with this one. Um, of course, as always, for those of you in the U.S., I am going to have a link to Amazon down below. Uh, for those of you outside the U.S., I'm going to try to find this on bookshop.org. So that way you can find a copy in a local bookstore near you. And I'm going to throw down my coffee link for those of you who don't mind throwing in a dollar or two to help support my channel. Every little bit helps. Um, I might be buying new books with this money. I might be paying for upgrades to my channel. I just got I got to reach a thousand subscribers sometime soon. It's my goal. Um, I don't think it's going to happen before the fall, considering that the start of the fall season is, like, coming really, really soon. But, um, let's try and shoot for reaching a thousand before the first of the year. That would be something, right? <laughs> so, if you came here looking for comic book reviews and recommendations, please hit that subscribe button. Or while you're there, hit that notification bell. That's, of course, if you made it this far into the video. I know some people fall off. They don't want to watch a whole video. And this is really short. It's not like I'm going on and on about these books. So, if you made it this far, it's greatly appreciated. I do appreciate all the new subscribers I've been getting. I appreciate those of you who purchase things through my links or donate to my coffee link. Like I said, if you want to see comic book reviews and recommendations, please hit that subscriber button. And thank you for watching. That's all I got for you guys. This has been Dan. Until next time, stay healthy and be good to each other.